Hey everyone, welcome back to channel. Today we are talking about something that might sound controversial. Is JSON dead? If you are a developer, this is big. If you are into AI, this changes everything. Stay with me for next five minutes and this will worth it. First, we will discuss about what is the problem with the JSON. So, JSON is too rigid for AI generated outputs, breaks easily with the LLM responses, no support for ambiguity or reasoning, and LLM struggle to produce perfect JSON. For more than 20 years, JSON has been the king of data exchange. APIs, databases, mobile apps, everything uses JSON. Whatever you can think of right now is using JSON. But now, AI is changing how apps interact. Instead of traditional request response, we are now have model, agents, reasoning, and tool calling. Let me show you what exactly I meant. If you see over here, this is a real example. You ask an AI, give me a product list in JSON. Simple request, right? But see this missing comma over here. You can see this missing comma over here. Then we have wrong value type. Over here you can see this string instead of a number. Over here you can see this in double quotes. It needs to be a uh, number, but it's a string in the double quote. How many of you have spent hours debugging this exact issue? I know I have. One tiny mistake and the entire response is useless. Your app crashes, your users are frustrated. This is what Tune comes in. But first, let me explain what Tune actually is. So what Tune means, that is tool-oriented object notation. This is basically provide JSON plus type safety, the structured output, built-in model reasoning, zero ambiguity, native tool calling support. And it is built specifically for AI native applications. Think of in this way. JSON was designed for humans writing code. Tune is designed for AI generative responses. Instead of asking AI and hoping you tell it exactly what structure you need, it's like giving someone a form to fill out instead of asking them to write freestyle. Let me show you how the same request looks with Tune. So here you can see this. This is the Tune success same request. So same request, look at the difference. No extra text, no missing comma, correct types. With Tune, you define the schema upfront in the left side, that is step one, where you are defining schema. The AI then fills in the values within that structure. It literally cannot produce invalid output. This isn't just usual work. It guaranteed to work. Every single time you will give, it is guaranteed to work. No more error handling for malformed JSON. No more try catch block for passing. Your code become cleaner and more reliable. Let's break down the key differences side by side. So over here you can see this is a, on the left side we have a JSON, on the right side we have a tune. So JSON validate after the AI generates the output. By then it's too late. Tune validates during generation because it's a template already ready, which it has to fill like a form. The AI literally cannot produce invalid output in the tune case because the form is there and into that one, what type, what is the key it needs, it has to fill. JSON is like asking someone to write a letter and hoping they format it right. Tune is like giving them a form with label fields to fill in. If you see the structure and the definition of JSON at Tune, JSON is designed for humans 
validate after generation breaks with ai output no reasoning support and hope for the best but in the case of tune design for llms validate during generation this is the most important part json is validated after generation but tune is validated during generation so because it's is validating during generation it never breaks multiple steps reasoning and guaranteed valid now let's move to the next part that is why json fails with ai we already saw an example but here is the full list of things that goes wrong the fundamental issues in the llms are probabilistic they generate text token by token not structure by structure okay in production these are not just annoyance they crashed they are crashed features angry users and two am debugging sessions so how do you solve all this problem let me just show you if you see over here the model cannot step outside the structure with the template the design which we have created in the tool the form which we have created into that one you might have observed that we have given different types like we need id as a number type we need this is of enum type so in this way it work so the model cannot step outside the structure no validation errors no broken responses faster development and trustworthy ai tools google gemini api already uses tool for structure responses and tool calls this is production ready is jason dead the verdict so here is the truth for this jason is not dead but and this is important JSON is no longer enough for AI powered application. JSON will stay for regular APIs, databases, config files. These are deterministic system where JSON excels, but Toon will take over for AI agent. Functions calling, tool workflows, AI automation, these need structure, reliable output. In the AI world, Toon is a new standard. So here you can see this, Toon takes over for AI agent responses, function calling, Toon based workflows and AI automations. JSON ruled the past, but Toon will rule the AI future. That's the truth. So that's the real story. If you want to build anything with Gemini, agents chatbot automation you need to understand too if you want a tutorial or api demo comment below and i will make a full video don't forget to like subscribe and share with your developer friend see you in the next video